What's tight, y'all? Or better yet, could I be right? Could that be kid? A oh, dynamite! <laughs> what up, it's the White Shadow Norway with the base in the place in the space again. Back with another collector video for you. Uh, today, I'm gonna show some records on my record collection. I'm gonna focus on a mid 90s hip hop label called Fondlem records there's their logo found them records i also got a t-shirt somewhere i don't know where but i got it somewhere uh anyway the label was started by uh dj cucumber slice also and maybe better known as bobito the barber or bobito garcia it's a new york uh, city mid 90s uh, hip-hop underground label they started in 95 and they ended in 2001 and I guess they had maybe like 40, 30, 40-ish releases. I got about 15 of them, so, you know, I'm not a completist. I just always been like, I buy what I like. Um, they have some classics, uh, classic releases that I don't have by uh, KMD and MF Doom. I'm not really a huge fan of any of them, but they are definitely classic, but I don't have them in my collection. But let's go with what I do have. The first record Fondlem put out in 1995 was uh, the Cenobites EP. Now, I don't have that, and it's quite rare and pricey nowadays. But I do have the Cenobites LP that I'm holding now. It says, Apples and Hamburgers, back by unpopular demand. The Cenobites LP, uh, who was Godfather Don and Cool Keith. Uh, it says the first relief release of Fondlem Records. Well, the album wasn't, but uh, the EP was, with two bonus cuts on this one: "Kick a Dope Verse Remix" and "Keep On." Bison Beef plus Gerbil P with a U Who, <laughs> whatever that means. But that's some fun shit right there. And uh, this is a uh, it's a pretty good uh, dark mid '90s New York City underground hip hop uh, album. This one by the Cenobites. There's some bangers on this, definitely solid as a full album. I got only one more album from Fondlem Records, and that's their second release. This says FE002 on it, and this is before they had the logo even, so it just spells out Fondlem Records in some regular font there. And that is the Juggernauts LP. On, uh, and that was released in 996 on Fondlem Records. No cover or anything, it just looks like this. Uh, as far as the Juggernauts, I've been doing some collabs with uh, Al Babbles, who's with the Juggernauts crew in New York. And, well, this is another, like, dark, underground, hip-hop classic album from the golden era mid-90s, in 1996, the Juggernauts album. Now let's move on to the 12-inch singles. Uh, this has FE003 on it, and it's by the arsonists, and the arsonists, or Destroy and Great Scott of the arsonists, are the people who first put me on when it came to production, as I produced Ars uh, um, Destroy's first solo single on Matador Records called Roll Out. But this was before then, and uh, this is a joint we, uh, we love the hell out of called The Session, and it's also got the classic Halloween on the B-side. Um, two great underground bangers on this one on Fondlem Records from, uh, I think there must have been, it doesn't say, yeah, there it goes, 1996 with this one as well. Under here. Yeah, right there. The Orsonists, the classic Jazzy The Session and the creepy Halloween for you. Next up, and by this one, this is FE005, I think there was, uh, yeah, the arsonist was uh, 003, so I think there was Dead Bent uh, by uh, MF Doom was 004, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not sure. Uh, but this uh, FE005, and by this time they had gotten their classic logo, squeezing the bow sack up there, <laughs> found them records, and this was like more of a, uh, than a 12 inch, this was like an EP by Sia and the issue with a poet, and man, this is awesome, man, this is, uh, I'll stretch it as far as to say that this is probably the best jazzy, dark, underground New York hip-hop release of the golden era of the mid-90s there, uh, Sia and the issue with a poet. 
Uh, <laughs> I remember we had problems spelling their name back in the days. Like uh, we thought their names were like Sai and Yeshu, and this was called Dapo EP or something. <laughs> Motherfucker smoking too much Buddha Bliss back then. But anyway, this is uh, quite pricey and rare nowadays. But if you see one, just grab it because this is the best. Like laid back, dark New York jazzy underground hip hop that you can get. Moving on now to FE006, this is by Lord Seer, uh, this also got two uh, fun laid back uh, hip hop joints on it, uh, one called Stack Cheddar, um, no that's by Stack Cheddar I believe, yeah, that's by Stack Cheddar and that track is called My Hindu Love, uh, and there's also Alcoholic Vibes by Lord Seer, so... From 997, uh, join 12 between uh, those two acts there. And it's another uh, great 12 uh, inch single from um, Fodlum Records. Golden Era Midnight is uh, dope underground 12 uh, inch right there. Bring on to uh, probably one of the best from the label, FE007 by Cage. And uh, in my opinion, this is, well, this is his first record, and in my opinion, it's uh, his best record. It's uh, on one side you got Radiohead, which is I. Then on the other one you got the classic super banger produced by Necro Agent Orange, uh, sampling the Clockwork Orange team, of course, and DJ Riz on the cuts as well, uh, scratching up the uh, Jissa LP that he. Um, that kid he sampled from the uh, the Lone Wolf and, and Cub or, or you know Shogun Assassin movie, so this is awesome. Also one of the best uh, Fondlem releases. This one by Cage Agent Orange. Moving on to some like uh, mysterious, laid back, also great dark uh, mid nineties underground uh, by Science of Life, and this is F E Double O Nine. Yet another great twelve inch. From Fondlem Records, we got a bit of a logo thing going back here. Some character with a mic and stuff like that. Pretty dope. Signs of Life, uh, Powers and Nine Ether, and the Anthem on the other side. <clears throat> Keep it moving. Um, I don't know if they uh, and they skipped numbers or if I missed out on a lot of releases or whatever, but this is FE31. And it's the follow-up by the arsonists to uh, Halloween the session, um, which is like three songs. Blaze being the main one, sampling Ward World soundtrack. Then you got Gimbo's team, which is like a bugged out track uh, with Destroy and Q Unique and Kinetic going crazy. Uh, then you got Flashback, which is a, a laid-back um, track with a beat with no drums on it, and that's still real dope. And like a dedication to um, hip hop back in the days, hence the title Flashback. And the B side got the instrumentals, of course. And this was produced by Q Unique and Destroy, also um, of the Arsonists, and all scratches by Spin One. We got a bit of an Arsonist logo going on back here. Setting mics on fire, you know how it goes. Yeah, this was the shit, and so was this era, man. The mid 90s, New York City underground hip hop, the illest shit. Moving on to FE0052, and this is Sai of Sai and Yeshua the Poet, and a solo 12 inch of him. Uh, a track that wasn't that well known, but it's still a really good one called Repetition. More like mysterious dark underground hip hop for you on that one. And the B side called Pyrite. Both tracks are, are good on this as far as I remember. It's been a while since I heard it, but. I'm, I have a fond of the memories of this. <laughs> yeah, man, Saya. On to like another EP type thing with a lot of tracks on it by DJ Eli and Shan Boogs, Cloud Kickers, featuring Yeshua the Poet, Pumpkinhead, Rest in Peace, J Treads, Cage, and DJ Days. And this is like some real laid back, jazzy underground hip hop on this one. Got a bit of a pick right here. Some dude digging in the crates. Yeah, you know how that went back in the days. Another awesome Fondlem Records uh, release. <clears throat> Moving on to the newer stuff. Um, this is called F.E. Jack 1. It's uh, Shakai the Motor Mouth featuring copyright of Megahertz. And it's widespread on one side and 
the chosen on the other. As far as I remember, the chosen was I, but widespread is a really great uh, jazzy underground hip hop joint by Shakita Moda Mouth. Nice red label on Fondlem there. <clears throat> Moving on to uh, one of my favorite underground MCs back then, Mr. MF Grimm. He has a lot of great releases, and by this time they had changed their uh, logo up. Looks like a bit of a Western logo or something, which is really great also. Found them records, number MF1, and it's a track called Do It For The Kids on one side, and you got Bloody Love Letter on the B side, which is like a great storytelling type joint. Another nice uh, double header from Fondham Records. Then I got two more that I got two copies of that I used to cut back in the days. Like this was nice to beat juggle with, I remember, by uh, Rock One, <clears throat> the debut single by Rock One, called Certified Superior on, on the A side, which is the banger here. Then you got 90 Degrees A Piece, which is more of a lyrical joint featuring Shabam Sadiq, Quest and El Fudge. Nice little Fondham logo. Back to uh, the old one again there, and a nice sticker on this one. A uh, really great one to have doubles of, I remember. And the last one is uh, from a man, DJ Typhoon, out of Denmark. What up, Typhoon? And uh, this is um, a joint produced and put together by him, by the Boulevard Connection. Uh, it features uh, the Artifacts, Company Flow, NMC Search, and promo of Loop Troop as well. On this great EP, you got, um, I think Denmark style by promo is probably the best one here. And you got the instrumentals on the B side here as well. Um, but the, all, all the tracks are nice. The Dempsey Search joint here is, <laughs> is real crazy, bugged out, and, and a lot of fun as well. And for my Dan Danish friends out here, and uh, probably my other Scandinavian friends, uh, this. Uh, Boulevard Connection EP is called Sutmin Pick EP, <laughs> which in no doubt you know I'm talking about on that. So that's my Fondlem collection right there, nice stack, probably about 14 I think, and a few um, doubles, a couple of doubles. I got doubles of the Sutmin Pick EP by the Boulevard Connection as well. So that's uh, it for another uh, collection video for you. Hope you enjoyed this flashback to the mid 90s New York City underground with the Fondlem Records special. This is the White Shadow Norway signing out. Don't forget to sub and like and all that good stuff. And I'll catch you later. Peace.